Hey friends, Dr. Murphy, I think God speaks to us through all new books and even the book reviews. In other words, we can learn eternal truths, universal themes, life lessons, words of wisdom from the authors. So let's just go there in today's New York Times book review. Richard McGuire, 10 years ago, he published the graphic novel Here, an instant classic depicting one room in one house over generations. Now Tom Hanks is starring in the movie. Eldritch terrors and other frights under horror stories. Testing the faith. What happened when a mostly white congregation resolved to fight bias and promote racial justice? Undivided is the title, The Quest for Racial Solidarity in an American Church. Uh, we see this story in almost all churches, don't we? Business books. Three new books examine the fraught politics and history of debt. Okay. Trouble on the Mountain. In this novel, guests at a rustic retreat face a dark and cryptic threat. The Imposium, a health resort horror story. Takurzuk tells a folk horror story with a deceptively light and knowing tone. Military history. Three new books discuss the politics of war from Napoleonic conquest to Vietnam. Sing Green, absent the spirit with the troubled history, is the focus of this tour through the world of vintage alcohol collectors. The absinthe forgery, true story of deception, betrayal, and the world's most dangerous spirit. Bottles of the stuff made before France's 1915 ban are especially desirable. The sea, the sea, the wonders of the ocean, the terrors of AI meet in this novel, which considers the future of a Polynesian island. Playground by Richard Powers. Uh, he does so much good stuff. Powers, who published early on artificial intelligence with Gladia 2.2 in 1995, reintroduces it here. A long half-life, Marie Curie remains a guiding light for female scientists and a cautionary tale. The elements of Marie Curie, how the glow of radium lit a path for women in science. The belief that women lack the intri intrinsic aptitude to do math and science stubbornly endures. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Yuri Herrera, how a Mexican novelist found himself and his new book in New Orleans. Marching in a novel about a hallowed Mexican hero in exile, Season of the Swamp. Seeds of War, a heroic decision during World War II to guard biodiversity, came at the cost of human life. Interesting. The Forbidden Garden, the botanists of besieged Leningrad and their impossible choice. Park and the author graphically describes a disintegrating city as food supplies dwindle to nothing. Well, we're seeing that story retold again in modern times. Love's Objects, a Nobel laureate and her lover chronicle their affair in photos and essays. The use of photography. The Outsiders, a haunted house, a couple's death, a child's return. Model Home is the title. They're summoned back to their childhood home in the Dallas suburbs by a ghost they call Nightmare Mother. This one, Dear Dickhead, women, Woman of Letters, an edgy apostolary novel with a stubbornly idealistic streak. Reincarnated, the second book in Carl Ove Nausgaard's new series explores many of the same ideas and incidents as its predecessor, The Third Realm is the title. The central theme is the limit of the human mind. I love this. We'll do a deep dive on that one for sure. Stranger Things. Middle schoolers stumble on the supernatural in 1980s Milwaukee. Hampton Heights. One herring night in the most haunted neighborhood in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Charm School. Elora must tap into her magical heritage to save her family. The Witches of El Paso's. The Silicon Curtain. Yuval Noah Harari argues that the difference between democracies and dictatorships lies in how they handle information. Nexus, a brief history of information networks from the Stone Age to AI. This is the book we're reading next for our guys' book club. And then children's book I'll do separately.